The following is a class on the Bhagavad Gita as it is. Second chapter, text number 13. Given by His Divine Grace, A.C. Bhaktivedanta Swami Prabhupada. Recorded on November 18th, 1972, in Hyderabad, India. Dehina Sminga Pavihi Kumaran Jovanam Jada Tathadehantara Prati Bhira Sattva Namaya The second chapter is a summary study of the Bhagavad Gita. <coughs> the first chapter is a preparatory study of Bhagavad Gita and the second chapter is the summary study of the contents of Bhagavad Gita. <coughs> Bhagavad Gita means the song sung by the Supreme Personality of God. Bhagavad from the uh, word hmm, Bhagavad uh, we speak Bhagavad. So Bhagavad, here in the Bhagavad Gita, you'll find <coughs> everywhere, see Bhagavan Ubat. So, uh, it is the science of understanding God. Just the jnana samanita. Jnanam te prabhakshami jad vijjana samanya. It is a vijjana. Vijjana means science. As everything is understood thoroughly through a scientific process, similarly, if you want to know the science of God, then you have to adopt the process by which one can understand God. That process is described in the Bhagavad Gita, Bhaktya Mama Vijanati. Krishna, the Supreme Personality of Godhead, he says, <coughs> if anyone wants to understand me, then he has to take the process of devotional service, not by the speculative process or by fruitive activities or by yogic process, mystic yogic process. It is clearly stated, <coughs> not only in Bhagavad Gita, in all other Vedic scripture, Athapi te deva padambujadvayam prasado leshanu grihita evahi janati tattam bhagavan mahimna nachana ekopi chirang vichinna. One can understand the Supreme Personality of God by His mercy only. Athapi te deva padambujadnam prasado leshanu grihita yam. Anyone who has <coughs> received a small particle of the prasada, mercy of the law, he can understand the law. Nobody can understand the law perfectly. It is not possible because the Lord is unlimited. We have got our <coughs> senses very limited. Oh. Our senses are not only limited but also imperfect. We commit illusion. We try to cheat. So many defects are there. Therefore, simply by exercising our senses, it is not possible to understand God. <coughs> oh. So, to know God, God is very good, God is great. That is another thing. The science of God, just like Bhagavad Gita, by studying Bhagavad Gita, 
we know not only God is great, but we see what kind of God He is. What is His form? Satchidananda Vigraha. We have heard in the Shastra that Ishara Parama Krishna Satchidananda Vigraha. Anadi Radi Govinda Sarva Karana Karan. Now, <coughs> that Ishara, Satchidananda Vigraha, how he appears, Satchidananda Vigraha. Uh, those who are present, of course, they saw the Satchidananda Vigraha. But because not all of them <coughs> were devotees, they could not understand Krishna as the Supreme Personality of God. Abhyananti mana mudha manasim tanamasitam Because he appears <coughs> just like a human being, so mudhas, mudhas means less intelligent or in plain word asses. Mudha means ass. So this class of men could not understand Krishna that he is the supreme personality of God. <coughs> that is the defect of the Muras. They may be very great scholar, <coughs> academic scholar, but in the matter of understanding God, they are Muras as a why Maya Aparita Jnana Asuri Bhavama Sita uh, at the present moment, people are mostly asuri bhavam Asuri, asuri bhav means to defy God. There is no God. God is there. I am God. You are God. So many uh, gods are loitering in the streets. Why you are finding out God? These are so many statements. The God has become so cheap. There are so many incarnations of God. <coughs> uh, especially in India, it is a breeding ground of God. So many. Uh, uh, so that is means they do not know what is God. Murha. They think God is so cheap thing. But from this Shastra, we understand. From Bhagavad Gita, we understand. When Krishna was asked by Yajjum, ah, how you are controlling the whole cosmology, your vibhuti, your power, your energy, so Krishna explained, and he, at last he concluded, atabha baunaitena kingyatena tavajna. Vishyabhya aham idam krishnam krishnam ekam sena sthitu yava. The whole cosmology, material world, is just uh, sustained by my partial manifestation of energy. Ekam <coughs> This material cosmology, man, material manifestation, is one-fourth demonstration of God's energy. Uh, the three-fourth manifestation of His energy is the spiritual world. Parastasmatu bhavanya bhaktya bhaktya sanatha. There is another nature which is spiritual nature, para, superior. The spiritual nature is described as para. Para means Beyond this opera, there are two energies working, material nature and spiritual nature. <laughs> material nature is described in the Bhagavad Gita, Bhumi Rāpanalo Bhāyu Khangamana Buddhi Riva. Bhinnāme Prakriti Asadhā. These eight types of material nature, earth, water, fire, air, sky, mind, intelligence and ego, these are material nature. Bhinna prakriti They are separated energies. 
अपराया इतस्तु विधि में प्रकृति परा बियॉन्ड दिस दीज आर इंफीरियर अपरा एंड बियॉन्ड दिस अपरा प्रकृति देर इज एनदर सुपीरियर प्रकृति वट इज दैट जीवभूत महाबाह जयदम जागति जब दैट इज लिविंग एंटिटी यू लिविंग एंटिटी लिविंग बींग इज एनर्जी आर द सुप्रीम लॉ एनर्जी जस्ट लाइक द सन एंड द सन साइन सन साइन इज द एनर्जी आर द सन ग्लो सिमिलरली वी लिविंग एंटिटी वी आर ऑल्सो एनर्जी इज ऑफ द सुप्रीम लॉ वट इज द सन साइन इट इज अ कॉम्बिनेशन ऑफ अ वेरी स्मॉल साइनिंग पार्टिकल मॉलिकुलर दैट इज सन साइन इट लुक्स लाइक वन होमोजीनियस थिंग बट दे आर अ स्मॉल पार्टिकल दैट इज साइंटिफिक अंडरस्टैंडिंग सिमिलरली वी आर ऑल्सो a small particle of the supreme law mamai vaams jeevo we are a small particle how much small what is the magnitude that is also described in this art kesagra satvabhavasya satadha kalpita satya jeevo bhav sabigya sa anantaya kalpa ah there is dimension Of the living entity, one ten thousand part of the tip of the hair. Uh, so it is very difficult. With our this material eyes, we are very much proud of our eyes. But here is the indication from the shastra: the length and breadth of the living soul. Now we find out with our eyes, your microscope. Uh, uh, that is not possible. Because they cannot find out, they say nirakar. Nirakar, in one sense, it can be supported that we cannot ascertain the forms of the soul and what, how we can ascertain the form of the law. Anoraniyan, mahato mahiyan. So. spiritual education means spiritual enlightenment first of all we must try to understand the jiva because jiva is the small particle of the law so that we can understand the quality of the law just like if you test a small particle of gold then you can understand the composition of gold if you test a little drop of water from the ocean you can analyze the chemical composition of the sea similarly if you can analyze the characteristics of the living entity then you can at least understand what is god what is the characteristics of god therefore the beginning of spiritual education is to understand one self the self realization uh, how to realize self we have to take knowledge from others knowledge means to acquire knowledge to learn from the teacher so here is the supreme teacher krishna uh, <coughs> krishna is accepted as the supreme teacher by everyone Ah, by all the great sages, formerly like Vyas Dev, Narad, Devala, Sita, and all other great sages, and recently in the modern age by our Acharyas, Sri Ramanujaja, Madhya Acharya, Ramanuja, yes, Shankar Acharya, Vishnu Shami, ah, all these great sages, great Acharyas. they came from your south india so you are fortunate in that sense so we have to follow the acharyas all the acharyas accept krishna 
the supreme lord all the data and later lately sri chaitanya mahaprabhu 500 years ago he also accepted the krishna the supreme personality of god krishna su bhagavan sa that is the acceptance in the simad bhagavat ah similarly lord brahma also accepted krishna ishara parama krishna sachidanand vigrah anadi radi govind sarva karana kar so we have got so many evidences <coughs> Uh, so we have to accept Krishna as the supreme personality of God. There is no doubt about. It. But why people do not accept? Why as uh, so many big big scholars and big big scientists, why they do not accept Krishna as the supreme personality of God? That is also stated in the Bhagavad Gita. How these people do not accept? Uh, The statement is there. Namana duskita nam mudha prapadante naradhama. Maya apuritagnana asuri bhavamasi. Those who are duskiti na, sinful. Duskiti na. Kriti means meritorious. And du means, means, miscreants. Meritorious for mischief making. We have you one has got merit. The mischief maker he has also got merit. But uh, one who uses his merit for mischief making, just like a great rogue, a thief, uh, when he steals, he requires brain. So he is applying his brain how to steal uh, tactfully, how to become a great rogue. That fully, how to become a smuggler? They require also brain. So the brain is being misused for mischievous activities. They are called miscreants, duskriti no. So those who are duskriti no, ah, ah, namang prapadan, namang duskriti no mura. One class is duskriti no, and the other class is mura. Mura means. Less intelligence or no intelligence. Namang duskitna mura prapadante naradhama, and naradhama means the lowest of the mankind. And Maya apuritagyana, those whose knowledge have been taken by Maya, asuri bhava mahasuda. These classes of men do not surrender unto Krishna. <coughs> We are not manufacturing these words. These words are in the Bhagavad Gita. If we study Bhagavad Gita, we have to accept the statements. Bhagavad Gita, Bhagavad Gita means the speeches which is delivered or the song which is sung by the supreme personality of God. So our Krishna consciousness movement is to preach all over the world that Krishna is to Bhagavan Swam. Uh, you are searching after God. You are taxing your brain so much. But in spite of taxing your brain, you say sometimes that there is no God, or God is dead, or everyone is God, and so on, so on. But our proposition is that why you are taxing your brain? Here is God. Here is God, Krishna. Ah. Uh, By authorities, by Vedic version, by his activities, uh, if we read life of Krishna, we can see that he is Krishna, God, from the very beginning of his birth. God is not manufactured by some mystic power. God is God. A dog is dog. Uh, a dog cannot become God. God cannot become dog. That is the difference. Uh, so Krishna was God from the very beginning. Uh, as soon as Krishna took birth, uh, he appeared in four-handed Vishnu Murti. Uh, but when he was prayed by his mother, 
to become an ordinary child, he became an ordinary child with two hands. So that is God from the very beginning. Not that by attaining some mystic power one can become God. Uh, you can have some power. God, you have already power because we are, every one of us is a part and parcel of God. Therefore, godly qualities are there. But you cannot become ten percent God. That is not possible. Uh, that is not possible. Uh, they, they, they have been analyzed. All the demigods and living entities, they have been analyzed by great stalwart people. And it has been found that Krishna is ten percent God. Krishna Su Bhagavan Sam. Iti Changsakala Pungsa Krishna Su Bhagavan Sam. All others, ah, there are many other gods. Then God means not the Supreme God, Ishara Parama Krishna. We are speaking of the Parama Ishara or Parameshara. There are two words, Ishara Parameshara. Atma Paramatma. That param uh, is God. We are Brahma Parabrahma. Uh, so Parabrahma, Paramatma, Parameshar, all these are applicable to Krishna. Just like Arjuna, after hearing Bhagavad Gita, he admitted Parabrahma, Param Dhamma, Pavitram, Paramam Bhava, Purusham, Sashatam, Adyam. That is the position of Krishna. Adi Purusam. Govindam Adi Purusam. Krishna also says in the Bhagavad Gita, Aham Adirhi Devanam. Devanam. Brahma Vishnu Mahasar. Uh, then after Brahma Vishnu Mahasar, there are other demigods, Indra, Chandra, Varuna, so many. So Krishna says, Aham Adirhi Devanam. Aham uh, Sarvasa Prabhava, He is the origin of everything. Aham uh, Sarvasa Prabhava, Matta Sarvam Prabhatate, everything emanates from me. In the Vedanta Sutra also, the absolute truth is described as Janmadra Sajata. Uh, the absolute truth is that from whom everything emanates. So here is Krishna. From sastric evidences, uh, by his opulences, by his power, because Bhagavan means full of six opulences. Oisadjasa samagrasa bijasa jasasa suya. He must be the richest. He must be the strongest. He must be the most famous. He must be the most beautiful. He must be the great renouncer in this way. That is the definition of God. Uh, so that definition is confirmed by Lord Brahma. Ishara Parama Krishna. Ishara means controller. Controller. Unless one is powerful, uh, how he can control? So every one of us is little a small controller, somebody controls in his office, somebody controls in his family life, somebody controls a few factories. There are controllers, but nobody can say that I am the supreme controller. That is not possible. The supreme controller is Krishna. So this Krishna consciousness movement means we are trying to link up our connection with the Supreme Control. We do not wish to become the controller. We want to be controlled, but by the Supreme Controller, not by others. That is our proposition. Just like generally one who is in service, he hankers after government service. Because it is natural conclusion that if I have to serve somebody, why a petty merchant? Why not take government service? So that is our proposition. 
that we have to serve. We, we cannot do but serve any one of us. That is our constitutional position. Any one of us who are sitting here, we are servants. Uh, every one of us is servant. So our proposition is that you are servants in any case. Why, why not become servant of God? That is our proposition. That is Krishna consciousness movement. Uh, so, kamadinam kutidhana kutidha palita dunnidisa. Uh, we are servant of our senses. Kam, khod, lo, moho, masrajya, all this. Uh, by dictated by our lusty desires, we do anything which is abominable. Tithaṁ kutidhāna kutidhā pālitā dhudni desa. So we are servants, everyone. Therefore uh, Chaitanya Mahāpūrū says, jivēr sarūpāya nitta krishna dhā. Our real constitutional position is that we are eternal servants of God, Krishna. That is our position. But in this material condition of life, Every one of us trying to become the master. That is the struggle for existence. Everyone is trying. I shall become the master, I shall become the supreme. Uh, but our position is servant. Uh, so this is called illusion. I am not master, I am servant, but I am trying to become master artificially. That is struggle for existence. Uh, and mukti means Liberation means when you give up this wrong idea that I am master and try to become the servant of the Supreme, that is called liberation. Liberation does not mean that after liberation we will have uh, a big gigantic form or, or so many hands, so many legs. Liberation means to become liberated from the wrong consciousness, that is liberation. The wrong consciousness is that I am a master. So we have to change this consciousness. That is Krishna consciousness movement. Uh, one has to understand thoroughly that he is not master, he is servant. Uh, he is completely dependent on the supreme will. Uh, if we draw, uh, uh, surrender unto the supreme will, then we have to surrender unto the wheel of Maya. Uh, we have to remain a servant. If we do reject service or servitude of the Supreme Law, then we have to become the servant of the senses, that is Maya. Actually that is going on. Uh, the whole world is serving different types of senses. Senses are one, the same, but they have got different desires. So they are servants of different desires. Now the Krishna consciousness movement is, it is not manufactured by us, we get it from Bhagavad Gita. Sarva dharma paritajya mami kang saranang Krishna says that you give up all this nonsense desire to surrender and think. That is the whole purpose of Bhagavad Gita. We are dictated by different types of desires, which is dictated by maya, and we want to become master falsely. Uh, this is called illusion. This is called maya. Actually you are not master. Uh, how we can become master? Because we may be very scientifically advanced. We may manufacture very wonderful machines and weapons. But after all, we are subjected to the rules of Maya. Janma muttu jarabya adhi dukho dosha anudarsalo. You cannot get out of these four principles of Maya's machinery. Janma muttu jarabya adhi. In the Srimad Bhagavatam it is said, Janne rabindakha vimukta manina. They are thinking that they have become liberated, become narayam or God, eh? manina, they are thinking like that, actually they are not, because they are subjected to the rules of the material nature. They cannot get out of this classes. 
And who can get out of these clutches? Mame Vaja Prabhadanti. Krishna says, anyone who surrenders unto me, Daividhi Sadhunamai Mama Maya Durutpaya, Mame Vaja Prabhadanti, Maya Me Tang Saradhite. So therefore, this Krishna consciousness moment is very uh, pious moment, the, the most glorious welfare activity. And we are preaching this moment all over the world just to place Krishna. Our only ambition is that to place Krishna as the Supreme Personality of God. That is our purpose. We don't want to become Krishna, but we want to become the most obedient servant of Krishna. That is our purpose. So we invite everyone from all parts of the world and they are coming. They are joining. So in India, Krishna appeared. India has got special advantage to understand Krishna. And India has neglected. That's a great misfortune. But we request everyone to join this movement, study the philosophy, and become happy. That is our proposition. Thank you very much. Hare Krishna.